Welcome back to Business Air TV. I'm here with Stuart Illiam from Blue Tail, who's going to talk to us about digitizing uh, electronic aircraft records and digital transformation. Stuart, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me, Preston. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Yeah, so so give me a little bit of your background in aviation. Tell, tell me about where you come from. Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you the reader, Reader's Digest version because it is quite long, as, as you already know. So uh, started out uh, uh, with aspirations of becoming a pilot, uh, trained uh, uh, at UND in North Dakota uh, in the 80s, got my commercial instrument uh, licenses and ultimately decided that I loved the business side of aviation more. So uh, transferred to Ohio State where I graduated with a, an aviation minor uh, and an accounting degree. Worked for Deloitte out of school, TWA was a client, so I got to see a little bit of the commercial airline world. Found my way out to the Bay Area where eventually uh, kind of a roundabout way uh, wound up in the tech world. So I went, uh, spent about uh, eight years at Apple Computer at the time now called Apple. And uh, I bring that up because A, it was a great experience, but B, uh, I met my, my, my co-founder, Roberto Guerreri at Apple. He helped hire me, actually. So got to really enjoy that uh, for a number of years. Did the whole dot-com thing for a couple years, if you recall that. Uh, and then ultimately got back into aviation in 2003. I bought a flight school in Southern California doing in-aircraft type ratings called Flight Crew Systems, now called Loft. They're a 142 training organization ultimately sold my interest in that company and worked my way over to another company called ProFlight with Caleb Taylor, helped build that up. They were also doing um, basically 142 simulator training uh, that was eventually purchased by uh, Textron, became True Simulation Plus Training, and uh, left that and then you know, was looking for uh, my next great venture and found my, myself in Arizona. Uh, and reconnected with my own my old partner, and we just thought it was kind of fortuitous, and we started Blue Tail. Yeah, so so let, let's let's dive into what Blue Tail does. What, sure. What's what's your mission? What do you what are you guys trying to accomplish? You know, it's 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 a very I, I would call it kind of a, you know uh, I guess simple mission that um, you know we realized you know long ago as we were talking about this idea that. You know, it's one of those ironies of aviation that you've got a $60 million airplane, but you still got $20 worth of paper supporting that airplane, that being the log books and all the supporting records. So, um, you know, we founded Blue Tail with a very simple premise of digitizing all those aircraft records. So, not just the log books, you know, your airframe, your, your, your power plant, your APU and your props and all that, but it's all the other supporting records, all the supporting maintenance records, which will typically sit in bankers' boxes today, you know, in on bookshelves and, and in file folders, that sort of thing. So, basically, we founded the company to digitize all those records, to protect those records, to digitize those records, put them in the cloud, a cloud-based application, make those records searchable and shareable. Um, and you know, that was basically the core mission, just to protect those records, because it's a, probably you know a, a little-known secret that. Uh, you can't insure aircraft logbooks, so it starts with that premise, and that was basically the founding principle of the company. It's become much more since then, which we'll talk about, but that was just basic, the basic idea. And I guess the other part I would mention too is that we built uh, a professional services arm, a scanning arm, to scan all those records because you can't do the application unless you get everything digitized. So we built a, a network of 120. Um, locations in North America where you can drop off your records, get them scanned, and more recently in the last six months, we announced basically a crowdsource model where somebody can actually come to your facility and scan those logbooks on site because they are very, val very valuable. Not everybody wants to send them out. So, so we've got kind of two models, uh, two businesses, but, but yeah, that's the basics of Blue Tail. Is there any regulation on actually doing the scanning themselves? Does the FAA regulate that process? You know, there, uh, there is some guidance under Part 43, which covers, you know, you know logbook entries and reproduction, that sort of thing. You know, you, you basically need to certify that they're originals and that you didn't alter them. I think that's 43.12. Hopefully, I remember that correctly. <laughs> uh, not, not, not to be uh, referenced to for legal. Yeah, advice. no. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the disclaimer. <laughs> I appreciate that. But, uh, but now that would be one way. And then you know you could certainly take uh, you know we our currency is always bankers boxes. So maybe you have maybe you've got a 20 year vintage aircraft. You got 20 bankers boxes. So you could certainly take that to one of those 120 locations, and we could have a courier come by. And you know when I mention a scanning locations. 
this is a, a what we call like a SOC 2 compliant location that is, is typically scanning like high-end documents like legal, financial, insurance kind of documents, medical records, that sort of thing. So this, so, is, a, this is a professional scanning. Very this is, professional. This is not hiring uh, somebody's not nephew at all. as an intern you know, to scan you my You could pages. drive by the location not even know it's a scanning facility. There's cameras everywhere. There's chain of custody, inventory procedures and all that. So you could drop them off uh, and certainly do that, you know, sign all the forms. We could have a, a bonded courier come pick it up. Um, so that's that's the second way of doing it. Uh, the third way would be this, this network that we launched that I mentioned, this crowdsourced network. So we've got somebody that'll go into your hangar, they'll show up, uh, sometimes it's two people. We bring in a full kit, like a little Pelican case with two scanners. We've got a, a sheet scanner, an overhead scanner. And this is this primarily uh, 91 operators, 135 operators, or is it Spoke. individual GA? Is even is it even applicable in GA? You know, it's funny. So when we launched Blue Tail, and, and you know, you always have some assumptions when you launch a business, right? Some of them are right. <laughs> some They're are usually wrong. wrong. They're usually <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but we got some right. Uh, you know, we really thought that I think our service was going to be more applicable, at least initially, to the owner operator segment. That's the world I came from, the training world. But you know, we quickly found that that there was a lot of corporate flight departments and, nine, and 135 operators that loved the idea of digitizing their records, putting them in the cloud, protecting them, and doing all these amazing use cases. So, um, so it, it, it really runs the gambit, you know, of, of everybody, you know, that that would use the system that are using our system. We've got everything from a Cessna 172 up to an A an, an A340 in our system today. It's it's really designed to handle all of that. So you're digitizing records, which means that you have a large amount of data on these aircraft. Um, how are you thinking about systematizing that data and then potentially monetizing that data on the back end? Yeah, so, you know, we, we, we thought about like kind of a data play when we started the company and I think, you know, we, our, our initial focus, and this is where we are today, it's all been about getting the records digitized, getting them protected, because, you know, heaven forbid something should happen, whether it's a natural disaster or a theft or misplacing records, because we've heard, everybody's heard horror stories of missing 8130s or 337s, and that, that could ground an airplane. So, um, you know, it's founded on that principle, um, and as we've built the company, it's all cloud-based, and, and this is where, you know, me coming back on the technical side, I've just been amazed at the tools that have been available through the cloud to do things like digitization, to do things like, uh, you know, so we've got like a search, we've got something called mock search where I can scan a, a, a 300 page binder, right? And then, you know, within five minutes, that whole binder is instantly searchable. So you've taken 300 images and made them searchable through, you know, optical character recognition. So, the, so the, even the images are searchable? The images are searchable and it's all done through the cloud. It's all done automatically. Typically, you know, in the old days, you would, you would enable OCR through the scanner, but now it's all done uh, through you know just the system that when you upload, it's automatically OCR'd. So every last character is searchable. So you can find paint codes, part numbers, forms. I mean, we've built, and I think that was your original question, we've built a lot of machine learning and automation in the system to automatically make that searchable, to pull out all those forms, and that's been a basis for like this new conformity product that we just launched. We couldn't have done it without doing that part first. And, we, and we're doing it really well. You know, I remember when ForeFlight came on the scene, and you know, one minute everybody's carrying around paper charts, right, into the cockpit. Next thing you know, everybody's using iPads, and it's like, when did that happen? It's like a switch was flipped, and we see that inflection point coming sooner than later. And we're starting to just see, you know, just, I mean, we're growing by leaps and bounds, and we're hearing more people talk about it, and we're having a conversation today, so I think, you know, I can't tell you exactly when it, it happens, but I think sometime in the next few years, there will be this inflection point where, you know, everybody that's been thinking about digitization will, will get on the train and get serious about it. Because it is something to do. I mean, it's, the, you know, the, the payback for doing it, I mean, all the different reasons, it, it makes perfect sense. And Well, Stuart, thanks so much for coming on, and I appreciate it. Where me. can people find more information about Blue Tail? Bluetail.aero. Bluetail.aero. Yeah, A-E-R-O. Awesome. So, Thanks, yeah. Stuart, so much. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.